First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. I've spent a good part of this summer camping. I've been hitting spots in New York, Massachusetts, Vermont, and New Hampshire on my 390 adventure here. And I've been doing that with a 40 liter dry top bag. And it's been great up until about this point in time. And the reason for that is this is my existing sleeping bag. It's great recommended to anyone down it's the way to go but it is only good till about 55 degrees below that when you're not freezing you're also not comfortable so this is not going to do for the rest of the season unfortunately my 40 liter bag is packed full i can wrap it three times to keep the waterproofness and there's not room for anything else in there and this is what i'm going to have to move to for cold weather camping this is at least five times probably more than the size of the one I've been using. And I realized that's not going to fit. So I went online looking for some solutions, something a little bit bigger. And I saw that Kemi Moto had a 50 liter waterproof roll top bag. So I reached out to them and I said, hey, I really need to do an upgrade. Would you consider sending me one to try out? And they said, sure. And I have the bag. So we've gone camping with it and I'll show you how things fit in it. Okay, this is how I've mounted the Kemimoto 50 liter dry bag to my bike. Anything with a rack is going to be just fine. I don't think I would try to put this on something too small though. At 50 liters, this is a large beefy bag, which is exactly what I was looking for. It ships with these straps, which are typical nylon. But what I liked is it also came with bungees, which the nylon tied it down, but the bungees just let me tighten it up just that little bit more. And I think that really worked well for me. Of course it does make it a little harder to get into it but hey that's what you want now i mentioned before i was not able to fit my zero degree sleeping bag in my 40 liter bag which is why i needed to move up to a 50. now not only can i fit my zero degree bag but i also brought this just in case it got really cold and i could use it as you know something underneath mine but in here, what we have is all of my gear. I've got my tent, I've got my kitchen, I've got my paracord, I've got my chair. Everything I take with me fits in here without any kind of problem. And on top of that, I was able to move some things that I always have to dig out, and it becomes problematic, into these pouches. I've never had this before. I'm now keeping my axe, my shovel, my saw all of this in the pouch instead of having it buried so when i got to my campsite i was able to just start cutting up some wood before i even bothered taking anything else out that was very convenient has another side pouch here which i hopefully will never go in because all i'm keeping in here is my life straw in case i run out of water and have to uh, grab something out of a questionable creek or a river Everything is waterproof, as long as you do the typical three folds. Kind of like it matches my bike for the most part, and it's just large enough. I was looking at the 60 liters, and I didn't think I would need it, but this 50 liter one, I think it's going to be ideal for me. As you can see, the Kemi Moda 50 liter waterproof dry bag fits everything I need it to. It's tight, but I am also using a giant sleeping bag. Um, I would definitely recommend it. I don't think I need to go any larger, and if I do, I really need to learn how to cut back on what I'm camping with. But the extra pockets, they've been great. I didn't even know they had extra pockets when I first got it, but it's been very useful. Definitely a bag that I'm going to enjoy camping in the fall with because I cannot camp without that sleeping bag anymore. If you stayed this long, thank you very much. I appreciate it, and you take care.